Welcome back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Y'all, the phone numbers are in the description below. Please get those phone numbers and call those numbers every day. Blow those numbers up. Chew their ears off. These numbers will get you in touch with the White House switchboard and they will patch you through to any uh, member of the House, any congressman, any senator, even President Trump's office. You won't ever talk to President Trump, but you will talk to his aides. Okay. Y'all, this is going to be a little different than normal. Uh, and you'll see why as we go on. But I got some stuff I, I want to cover with you. Okay, this $2,000 stimulus check. Y'all, they all know without a $2,000 or better stimulus check, come November, they will be out of a job. They will be voted out of office. They know this. And I'm going to get to something in a little bit, and you'll start to see why. Are you getting sick of every member of the House, every congressman, every senator, even the White House? They're all talking out of both sides of their mouth. One day they say, yes, we're getting a stimulus check. Next day, they're going to have it more targeted. And then they also say, yes, everybody will get it. Well, how can it be more targeted if everybody's going to get it? They're playing games with us. They're buying time. Why can't they just be honest? If we're not going to get a stimulus check, say it. If we are going to get a stimulus check, say it. That's all we want. We want to know. They are trying to figure out a way to save their jobs. I think it's much too late for that. It's much too late to worry about their jobs. Because in November, they are gone ass. In November, we need to send this message and vote them all out of office. This will send a message to the next batch of politicians that comes in that their job is temporary and how long it, they will be in office is tentative to what they do for us. Now, Martha McSally, Republican of Arizona, She's talking about the rich people stimulus. She's made another proposal for stimulating the rich people and their bank accounts. Let's pay the rich people to go on vacation. And it looks like it will be pushed through. This will be $4,000 tax credit for a single person, $8,000 tax credit for a couple. But y'all, you have to be, you have to have good money in the bank before you can take a vacation to get this credit. So this is only for the rich people. I think it's a slap in the face to everybody else. The Congress is looking after the rich people and the hell with us. And, it, and it's more evident every day that that's what's happening. Our great governor in Florida just yesterday, he says, bars and nightclubs can stay open, but they can't serve alcohol. What are they going to serve? Kool-Aid? He said, they can sell alcohol, but it's got to be to go. Think about this. This guy is brilliant. He just gave everybody a free pass to drink and drive. I just wonder how long until we have another full close down. And the way things are going with businesses, they're struggling at 25%. Closing down may be an option for them. It may be the best thing for them right now. Because y'all, I've told you before, I come from restaurant work. I even had my own restaurant at one time. It's hard to make ends meet at full capacity. I had a restaurant owner years ago tell me when I was just a cook. He said, Walter, in this business, 
It's not the dollars that counts. It's the pennies that counts. And that didn't make any sense to me until I got my own restaurant. Then I understood what he's talking about. You got to watch every penny. So at 100% capacity, it's hard enough to make ends meet in a restaurant. But now that it's telling you 25%, there's no way. Yeah, you can go back to work in hopes that it's going to work out, but it won't be long until you'll be completely closed down forever. Someone asked me about non-taxpayers that didn't get their stimulus check. Y'all, everyone on this planet is a taxpayer. Every time you go to the grocery store, you're paying taxes. Every time you buy a tank of gas, you're paying a lot of taxes. Cause most of the price of gas is taxes. It's, it's very cheap, a gallon of gas, if you take the taxes away. So everybody pays taxes. There is no such thing as a non-taxpayer. Y'all, the way taxes work, when you buy something, your tax goes to the state. The state, in return, sends it on to the federal government. It always revolves, and it always ends up back to the federal government. So there is no such thing as a non-taxpayer. Everybody pays taxes. Okay. What I was thinking about today, it looks like I feel confident we're going to get a stimulus check. I've always said that, and I've always said, but when? What I'm beginning to think is they're going to purposely leave the stimulus check out of this next bill. And then, you know how they've been pushing single items through? Their pet items they've been pushing through, like overnight. Well, closer to an election, they're going to push through a major stimulus check to help their votes, they think. The closer it is to election, the more it will be in our memory that they just gave us this big amount of money. That will boost their votes, they hope. Y'all, I think it's too late for that. If we see that this is what's happening, we need to band together. No matter how big that stimulus check is, it could be $10,000 a person. We still need to vote them out of office because they made the whole country suffer this long. Some people will never recover what they've lost. Some people really didn't lose that much. And they need to thank God for that. But uh, most of the people, they will never recover. Like when you lose your business, that's major. Sometimes you never recover from that. You lose your home. All the stress that comes from losing your home, your business, it's going to start working on your relationships with your, with your spouse, with your family. You may lose your family. You may not be able to take it anymore. You may commit suicide. So the games that they're playing with us, we need to remember this election time no matter how big of a stimulus they give us we need to remember what they've done to us a leopard don't change his spots y'all i hope y'all like the way i make my videos i hope you like the information that i give you and i hope you will stick around come back every day i make these videos every every day they go public at six o'clock in the morning. I'm sorry I can't answer all the comments, and I get a lot of them. And I cherish every one of them, and I thank you for them. I read every one of them. I just can't answer every one of them. It's too, too many of them. But please, don't ever stop commenting. Leave your comments, your thumbs up, your thumbs down. Let me know what's going on in your life. Unlike a lot of people on YouTube, I care. I know without you, I would not have a YouTube channel. So just know, I love you all. We may be on different sides of the political platform, but deep down inside, we're still human and we're still Americans. Y'all, please come back. Keep your heads up. We will get through this. It's going to be a struggle. It's not going to be easy. But anything worth fighting for is not easy. Keep your faith in God. Keep your faith in each other. And just know that Walter, this old fat white man, 
He loves you all. Ciao.